an investor looking for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Hello, I'm Rachel Jones and this is Calkine TV's Daily Crypto Catch. Major cryptocurrency Bitcoin has breached the key $30,000 level for the first time in 10 months yesterday, adding to its steady gains as investors raise bets that the U.S. Federal Reserve will soon end its aggressive monetary tightening campaign. Now Bitcoin peaked at $30,438 in Asian trade and was last up 1.96% at 30233 has gained almost 6% since the start of the month after rising 23% in March. Investors are awaiting a U.S. inflation report to assess the Fed's next steps after banking sector turmoil in March raised expectations that the central bank would let up on rate hikes to ease stress on the sector. Boosting the cash rate hikes, however, Friday's closely watched U.S. non-farm payrolls report showed employers maintained a strong pace of hiring in March pointing to a still resilient economy. Crypto investment products attracted $57 million in inflows last week, albeit on low volume, with most of the money focused on Bitcoin, digital asset manager CoinShares said on Monday. Now this brings digital asset flows back into positive territory for the year. Ether, the second largest cryptocurrency, stood near last week's roughly eight-month peak of $1,942. It was last up 1.56% to $1,915. Crypto investors are eagerly anticipating a major revamp to the Ethereum blockchain today that is set to allow them to gain access to more than $33 billion of Ether currency. The software upgrade, dubbed Chappella, will let market players redeem their staked Ether coins they have deposited and locked up on the network over the past three years in return for interest. Bank of America strategist Al Shah says while Chappella is not likely to directly drive sell pressure on Ether, volatility could be heightened around this event. Well, that's the latest on Calkine TV's Daily Crypto Catch. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.